Hello friends, today in this second tutorial we are going to see that how to design a half header circuit or a full header circuit using CMOS VLSI design. In previous tutorial I have already gone through that to design some basic logic gates what are the step by step procedures are there. Here in this particular case we will see that what are the steps need to be followed in order to design a half header circuit. So similarly we have to go step by step procedure. If I go with step by step procedure of a half header circuit. So first step was we need to understand the truth table of this particular gates. As it is a half header circuit, if you draw a half header circuit we must understand that this particular block must have minimum two or more than two inputs, data inputs. Here it is maybe A and B and similarly the output should be of sum and carry. Here if we assume this particular block then we have to write down the truth table of a half header circuit. So what is the half header circuit truth table? If you write down the inputs first and output here it is in sum and carry for two variables how many combination will come four combinations so i am writing the four combinations first yes so for 0 0 sum will be 0 carry 0 for 0 1 sum 1 carry 0 1 0 sum 1 carry 0 and for 1 1 what will happen sum will be 0 and carry is 1 very simple this we have already gone through in digital electronics what is new in VLSI design is we have to check there are certain steps of VLSI technology by means of which we will design a pull up network and a pull down network. Pull up network consisting of NMOS sorry pull up network will be consisting of PMOS and pull down network will be consisting of NMOSes. Pull up network must be connected with VDD pull down network must be connected with ground there should be single output and as it is a CMOS is there so automatically what is happening automatic inversion is there for a CMOS so from the truth table we must write down the sum first so sum will be we have to see where the ones is coming so in case number 2 where a is 0 and b is 1 sum is 1 so a bar b plus another one is where a is 1 that is a and b is low that is b bar so this is how we can obtain sum and similarly we can obtain carry also how only one single case when one is appearing so please find out which cases when both the a and b both are high that means a and b no other options are there where the we will get another high. So this is the value of sum and carry from the truth table we have found. So the second step is we have to take the complement of it. So if we take the complement of output that is sum, what will happen? So y bar here if we apply sum it is as y so y bar will be a bar b plus a b bar that's whole bar so now this will be of a bar b bar plus a b if we follow the basic rule and basic postulates of digital electronics okay and similarly for carry also so let me first do the sum part so here we are obtaining this expression where a dot b so end operation so what we can see is that in end operation the moment we are discussing we must understand what is what was there in pmos pmos should be connected in parallel here so you draw this first See, I am drawing 
two p MOSes a bar and b bar. So write down here the two output. Sorry, input a bar and b bar both are in parallel. See parallel. Now plus operation. Plus means series connection. So plus here it is, and then a and b. So a and b again for p MOS both should be both p MOS should be parallel. A B for this plus this line is there so this is the pull up network which is connected with FDT fine similarly in pull down network also we have to design this pull down network also so what is that it is consisting of NMOS so A bar B bar so A bar B bar means it should be in series so like this way A bar, B bar, and again plus is there. That means this line, then A dot B. A dot B means NMOS should be AND operation, NMOS should be in series. So we are again drawing this A, B. But both are in parallel. Why? Because this plus is there, so automatically both should be in parallel. Why? Because in pull up network it was in series the two products here the two products should be in parallel that is why and from here we will get the sum that is output so this is how you need to draw the sum okay sum is done then we will draw the carry okay for carry what we will do is here as it is carry is a dot b so we must take the inverted output what is that if we assume x is as carry so a dot b bar okay so if we apply here the same thing a dot b bar that means it can be drawn as or it can be written as a bar plus b bar so again as it is a bar plus b bar that means what will happen is in pull down network it should be in parallel pull down network i am drawing first here in this particular case so here a bar plus b bar sorry it should be in parallel sorry a bar plus b bar For pull up network, it should be in series. Pull up network consisting of AP MOSs, and then you connect the pull up network to VDD and pull down network to ground. And from here, you can obtain the inverted carry. So, this is how you need to design the sum and carry for a half header circuit. So, if you can show this thing. It is absolutely okay and now we need to go on through that whether all the cases are performing correctly or not. So there are four cases are there for two uh, variables there are four combination. I will show you here one single combination. Okay. So that one single combination here we will see that is nothing but say suppose anyone say suppose case two this one. Say suppose for sum, so as here we are putting the values all A0 and B1. So if I put here, we will put A0, right? Here A0, sorry by using this pencil, I am going to show. See here A0 and wherever A is there, 0, due to this A part, so automatically this is 1, this is 1. Similarly, B is 1, right? So, B is 1 and B bar is 0 and 0. So, due to bubble here, what will ap appear here? 0 value. Due to bubble, here it is 1. Here, as it is 0, but due to bubble, it is 1. And here, due to this, it is 0. 
but here all the things will be appearing same as there no bubble is there so what will happen this zero makes that particular pmos off so this is off state this is gone here also it is off here also it is off and zero is off so by this what we can see that as it is off and this is also off circuit this is off and this is also off so the sum is no way connected to ground no connection is there between sum and ground but as this is off but this is on and due to this also this is on so the sum that is the output it may be connected through this where to VDD that is the sum may be connected to VDD through this particular PMOS and this particular PMOS so what is the value that is VDD is logic high this will appear here in sum so let me see what is the value is there 1 here also it is appearing 1 so this is how in all cases you need to make understand that how all the cases are to be verified using CMOS VLSI design this is the concept of a VLSI logic design of half header circuit. Thank you.